Visual ROS is a web-based graphical interface that allows you to generate ROS to applications. This no-code tool has been developed by Prosima under the DHS Square project, a European Union-funded consortium of 30 companies that have the mission of accelerating the automation of the manufacturing industry for small and medium enterprises through robotics in the European Union. And that is the goal of Visual ROS, making ROS too accessible to users with little or no programming knowledge. So how does Visual ROS work? Let's start from the beginning. The implementation is based on Node-RED, an open-source browser-based graphical editor that allows programming even driven applications by using a wide range of custom nodes and linking them together to generate flows. These flows can be then deployed to the runtime in a single click and are stored using JSON files which can be easily imported and exported. With this in mind, we can take a look at the whole picture to understand the entire process of Visual ROS. The deployment of ROS to entities starts from the node red blocks. The flows, actions performed by the user, are outputted and stored as JSON files as we have seen before. So now, we need to translate these JSON files into the language that the ROS2 APIs can understand. To make this translation, we're going to use the eProsimas integration service tool that takes the JSON files through a WebSocket into the core of the integration service. Once this information with the topics and services is in the core of the integration service, it can be delivered to the ROS2 stack through another system handle for ROS2. This way, we can publish, subscribe, and send topics in ROS2 using Visual ROS graphical interface, in which no red blocks are representations of the ROS2 entities. Let's see a real example. With Visual ROS, you can easily control a robot simulation in Webot, the multi-platform desktop application for robot simulation by Cyberbotics. We just need to launch the Husarian Rosbot Excel simulation in Webot from Docker Hub. Create a Git clone of the Visual ROS repo and build the Docker image with Visual ROS and then run it. Then open Visual ROS in the browser. At this point, we could create the ROS to flow from scratch. Or, as we're going to do in this case, we can import it. With imported flow, we only need to change the topic in the ROS to publisher. Do the deployment. And now, you'll be able to control your Rosbot Excel Webot simulation in ROS2 with Visual ROS.